Hi, Scott with FDJTool.com, and I have in front of me some magnetic tumblers. You may be asking, what's a magnetic tumbler? Well, a magnetic tumbler is a machine that does mass finishing. And mass finishing is just a fancy way of saying polishing or finishing a lot of things at one time. I have units here that can do four or five rings at a time, all the way up to a unit that can do 20 or 30 rings at a time. And essentially, a magnetic tumbler houses a motor on the inside that's going to spin a disc. And that disc is embedded with a lot of magnets. And those magnets, when you put your heavy duty bowl on top here and fill it with your steel media, it's going to spin that steel media very fast and do a fantastic job on your pieces. So let's find out what these tumblers can do. Now the magnetic tumbler has a distinct advantage over its competitors, the rotary tumbler or the vibratory tumbler. Sure, they can handle heavy loads, and yeah, they can do different kinds of media when they're tumbling, but what they can't do is they can't do the job fast. Sometimes tumbling cycles on these can take 3 hours, 10 hours, 48 hours, sometimes longer depending on how much finishing you need to be, have done. Magnetic tumbler, on the other hand, can do jobs in as little as 30 minutes. And when time's important, that's what you need to have, because as we know, time is money. Now magnetic tumblers are fantastic machines, but they're not the end all in finishing. They do do one job and they do it very, very well. They bring your pieces to a very high, shiny, burnished finish. But I do have to remind you that if you're going to put things in here like cast pieces, you're going to have to remove the investment beforehand. If you've got a soldered piece and you've got a little extra glob of solder on the seam here and there, you're going to need to take that off. If you've got a piece that has deep, heavy scratches in it, you're going to need to sand or file those away before you put them into the machine. Because if you don't, you're going to end up with very shiny solder globs and very shiny scratches on your pieces. The media for a magnetic tumbler are very teeny tiny steel pins. These little steel pins are about 5 millimeters in length. We carry three sizes in range from 0.3 millimeter to 0.5 millimeter and to 0.8 millimeter in diameter. Basically what that means is they're very small. But what they do is they act like thousands and thousands of little bitty steel hammers that beat away at your pieces to give them that beautiful shiny burnished finish. But when you use these magnetic uh, steel pins for your tumbling, you're going to need to use burnishing solution in the water. Please don't use those crazy chemicals and solutions that other people have told you to put in their tumblers. Use the right solution for the right job. Burnishing solution is inexpensive. It's not just a soap. It does take away all the dirt and debris that accumulate in the solution during the tumbling process, but it also helps to condition your steel shot to keep it nice and make it last longer. It's also going to act as sort of a lubricant. What it does is going to help things move around in the solution so that you get better results. And you only use a couple of drops at a time in the tumbler this size. So use the right solution for the right job and you're going to get very good results. To set up the magnetic tumbler, we're going to plug it into our grounded outlet. And we're going to fill our bowl with the recommended amount of water that your machine has in its instructions. Don't put too much water in here because what happens is during the spinning of the tumbling process it can spill out the lid and make a mess so you don't want to overfill it. I'm going to add just a teeny bit of our burnishing solution. Just a few drops will be fine so just a little bit in there. That'll work. I'm going to add my steel pins. Again, add only what your machine recommends. Don't add too much because that can just slow down the tumbling process and you won't get a good finish and put it on top and we're about ready to start but there's one thing we need to do first if you've got new pins like the ones I have here they could have coatings and oils and things from the manufacturing process if they're pins that haven't been used in a long time they could have oxidation on them and you need to get these pins clean before you do any type of tumbling process because if you don't those things can come off your pins and into the solution and basically the action of the tumbling can grind that gook and stuff right onto the pieces you're trying to clean. It'll make them dull and gray and disgusting and very hard to clean up after that. So you want to have nice clean media before you start. And to do that, 
Well, just run a tumbling process. I've got my water, I've got my burnishing solution in there with my pins, so I'm gonna set the machine to run. I'll run it for about 30 minutes, and at which time I will check the solution. When I take it off, I will dump out any of the dirty water that's there. I will fill it back up with water, put in more burnishing solution, and run the machine again. I'm gonna repeat this process until the solution runs nice and clear. That way I'll know that the burnishing media is nice and clean and ready for a tumbling process. So I'll set my timer, hit the power button, and let it run. Now that my media is clean, I've refilled the bowl with fresh water, put in fresh burnishing solution, and I've picked out a few items that I'm going to put in the tumblers to give you an idea of what kind of finish we're going to get. I'm going to put those in there. Set my bowl on the machine. I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for a minimum of 30 minutes. I'm going to check it after that to see how the process is coming along. If I'm not happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and set it again. Check it every 10 to 30 minutes to see how the process is coming along. And when I get to a finish that I like, I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Now, during the tumbling process, you start to notice that the solution starts to get a little dirty or gray. It's quite all right to go ahead and stop your machine. Let's drain out that dirty solution. Replace it with fresh water, fresh burnishing solution. So, we get back to tumbling with a nice clean solution. I let the magnetic tumbler run for about 45 minutes. I went over the initial 30 because I wanted to get a little bit extra finishing on my pieces. So let's see how they turned out here. I find it easier just to take the ball and dump it through a strainer here so I don't lose any of the pins and it's just, that way it's just easier to get my pieces out. And got my rings. Earrings. And there's my pendant. And I think that the pieces turned out very nicely. Nice and shiny, great burnished finish. Oh, I'm very happy. Good. Glad I went over that little extra 15 minutes there. And we're done. All right. Now, the reason I went ahead and dumped all the pins out of the bowl is because whether I'm going to do another tumbling session or I'm going to put everything away at the end of the night. I want to have a nice clean bowl, get rid of all that dirty solution, and I'm going to go ahead and refill the bowl back up with water. There we go. So, put a little bit of burnishing solution in there. There we go. And go ahead and put my pins back in. There we go. Because now, I've got nice clean solution for my next tumbling process, but since I'm finishing up for the day, I'm going to go ahead and store my pins in this burnishing solution because it's going to prevent it from getting any oxidation and keep the pins nice and fresh for the next time I do any tumbling. Before we wrap things up, let me give you a few extra tips. When storing your machine away, don't leave the bowl and pins on top. Over a period of time, that magnetic disc in the machine can actually end up demagnetizing those pins and cut down on how well they work during the magnetic tumbling process. So just keep it off to the side. You also want to avoid putting soft stones into the tumbler. Don't put emeralds, opals, lapis, things like that because they just can't stand up to the constant pounding of those pins. Hard stones are going to be okay. Occasionally, a stone may have a little crack or crevice in there, so just be aware that any defect can be affected by the pins. But for the most part, rubies, sapphires, diamonds, you're not going to have any kind of problem when using the magnetic tumbler. Also, just remember that there's a magnetic disc in here. Keep it away from things that can be affected by magnets, like your computer, your iPhone, credit cards, things like that. You'll be fine. So I hope those little tips and the information that I've given you in this video has answered enough questions that will make you confident to use your magnetic tumbler. My name is Scott with FDJTool.com.
I forgot. <laughs> Wait, okay, no, 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 no,